to get right to this video of a bicyclist getting hit by an SUV on the Natchez Trace Trail. Watch this. So there are two cyclists riding together. Now keep an eye on the cyclist on the left. And look at that. It's startling. And this happened this afternoon near Franklin. Stephanie Langston is following the story. Stephanie, that's tough to watch. It really is unbelievable video, Cherish, and it speaks for itself. It has now reached nearly 200,000 views and thousands of comments on Facebook. Greg Goodman, who shot the video on his GoPro, tells us the crash happened around 11 o'clock Saturday morning on the Natchez Trace Parkway, about eight miles south of the bridge. That's where there are a number of signs posted that bikers may use the full lane. In the video, you can see the top of Greg's helmet. Beside him is his friend Tyler No. At the beginning of the video, you can hear a horn honk, and a few seconds later, this white truck passes the bikers on a double line. And then two seconds later, this black Volvo SUV crosses over the lines from the wrong side of the road, hitting no, and then continued driving on. Here's a look at what Goodman posted on Facebook with the video. This person intentionally hit my friend Tyler No on Natchez Trace. We had a witness behind us who said he has seen this same Volvo try to hit someone else last week. Tyler is at the hospital and doing okay. Now, Goodman tells us No is now at home recovering, surprisingly, with only cuts and bruises. The National Park Service has safety guidelines for bicyclists on the Natchez Trace online. It says the Natchez Trace Parkway welcomes millions of visitors every year. As a designated bicycling route, thousands of bicyclists travel the parkway and that bicyclists and motorists have a responsibility to share the road. It says to follow the same rules of the road as motorists, ride single file and on the right. It also says bicyclists may use the entire lane when necessary. Now, Goodman says this is a federal investigation. The driver could face vehicular assault, aggravated assault, leaving the scene of an accident with injury and a number of other charges. Cherish. Thank you, Stephanie. Something we will definitely keep up with. The man who shared this video with us tells us state park officials are handling the case. We did reach out to them, and we will let you know when we hear something and if any arrests are made.